I would always just hear like someone like like cheering and like woo like like from across. One person was my boyfriend Travis. The clear declaration that Taylor Swift has become a member of the Kelsey clan, fully approved, adored, and respected by the members of the Kelsey family, not just Travis himself, is the best thing to come out of the Video Music Awards this year, other than Taylor Swift's awards, of course. This is the best thing that has come out of the VMAs this year. Travis Kelsey's latest move, or should we say lack of it, is raising some eyebrows. Elon Musk has made some distasteful comments about having a child with Taylor and Travis Kelsey's lack of a passionate response and resorting to criticizing just the Cybertruck rather than saying something about the richest man in the world is leaving a foul taste in people's mouths. While there is no doubt that Travis and his family are committed to Taylor, the latest move by Travis Kelsey, or should we say lack of commitment, is raising some eyebrows. However, Taylor has just demonstrated her allegiance to both the National Football League and Travis Kelsey in a single swift move. We'll also delve into criticism that has been following Taylor around for not acting her age and enjoying life on an excessive level, and we have a response that is appropriate for those who are critical of her. Is it time to dive right in? If the New Heights podcast from this week is any indication, Taylor is quickly becoming a treasured member of the Kelsey family. This is because the undeniable connection that she shares with Travis continues to shine brightly. In the hours leading up to the 2024 Video Music Awards, Travis and Jason Kelsey demonstrated their unwavering support for Taylor, making it abundantly clear that she is more than just a superstar girlfriend she is a member of the family. In light of the fact that Taylor is up for 12 nominations, one of which is a chance to surpass Beyoncé's record for most Video Music Awards ever, the Kelsey brothers made it a point to show their support for her during their new news segment, the ever-supportive boyfriend Travis casually mentioned that he hoped his girlfriend would win a few awards. However, Jason, with his usual sense of humor and brotherly charm, took it a step further and actually hoped that his girlfriend would win some awards. He exclaimed, Let's go, Tay before adding, unless you're up against Tay, then I hope you lose that is, unless you're going to lose. The sweet and familial energy that was present during the exchange was immediately recognized by the audience it was not merely a cute moment. The fact that Taylor was no longer between brothers was evidence that she had completely established herself as a member of the Kelsey family. Another joke suggested that the brothers had cleverly turned a corporate sponsorship into a personal love letter to Taylor. One fan wrote, It's so endgame while another joke stated that the brothers had done this. Despite the fact that Travis and Jason were technically promoting the Video Music Awards, the manner in which they combined their excitement for the event with their obvious affection for Taylor demonstrated that she is more than just the girl that Travis is dating, she is now someone that the entire Kelsey family takes special pride in supporting. Whether it's Jason's playful banter or Travis's quiet confidence in her success, it's indisputable that Taylor has discovered a place within the Kelsey clan that is both comfortable and affectionate. She is a force on her own, but she has a team, both in music and now it seems with her new football family rooting for her all the way. Swift's solo appearance at the Video Music Awards only added to the narrative she had a team, both in music and now it seems with her new football family. It's possible that Travis Kelsey is a protective boyfriend, but when it comes to Elon Musk's strange comments about Taylor Swift, he's playing it cool perhaps even a little bit too cool. Travis decided to take a more subtle and strategic approach to responding to Musk's bizarre statement about giving Taylor a child rather than launching an angry response to the fact that Musk tweeted the statement. In the most recent episode of the New Heights podcast, he and his brother Jason made some not-so-subtle jabs at Musk's prized Tesla Cybertruck, making fun of the truck's questionable durability. During the course of the conversation, Jason casually mentioned that the Cybertruck has been known to short-circuit while being used for car washes. This is not exactly the hallmark of a high-tech, indestructible vehicle, as Musk had promised. Travis then chimed in and questioned why the release of the Cybertruck appeared to be hurried, he joked that they had to rush them out because it took them the equivalent of three additional summers to figure it out. Jason responded with a sly laugh while he was making his statement. The conversation took place just a few days after Musk's bizarre tweet about Taylor, which was a particularly telling indication of the timing of the conversation. Despite the fact that Travis did not directly respond to Musk's comment, the jab at the Cybertruck appeared to be a clever indirect way of saying, I see you. For someone who is typically forthright and fiery when it comes to defending his loved ones, this is an intriguing approach however, it is possible that Travis is more astute than to engage in a full-on feud with the richest man in the world. 
Would it be possible that he is trying to keep things light in order to avoid things getting more serious with someone like Musk? It is not hard to imagine Travis weighing his options and deciding to keep the clapback subtle, taking a shot without actually lighting the fuse on a larger confrontation. After all, Elon is known for taking online battles to strange places, and she is known for being unpredictable. It's in lighter news for those who are curious about whether or not Taylor only watches the National Football League when Travis is playing. The answer is hilarious, and Travis has finally put an end to the confusion that has been going on. Travis revealed that he and Taylor were glued to the television watching his brother Jason Kelsey's debut on ESPN Monday Night Football, despite the fact that the chief star was not participating in the game. This revelation was made during the 100th episode of the New Heights podcast. It was a wardrobe malfunction that left Jason's chest exposed when the buttons on his shirt simply could not withstand the pressure. This was the highlight of the story. As a result of Jason forgetting his clothes at home and rushing to the mall to purchase a shirt, his debut on the Monday Night Countdown was unintentionally funny. This was especially true when Scott Van Pelt shared the entire backstory on air, it was all in good fun and Travis couldn't stop laughing about it. Jason had to relive the moment on the podcast, but it was all in good fun nevertheless. During the time that the two brothers were reminiscing about Jason's unfortunate fashion fail, Travis casually dropped the bombshell that Taylor had been right there with him, laughing over the entire situation. Travis said that we were laughing so hard that we were dying, and he went on to say that it is obvious that the pop star enjoys watching games even when her boyfriend is not playing. This tidbit of information demonstrates that Taylor's support for Travis is not the only reason she is a fan of the National Football League she is all in even for games in which the Chiefs are not participating. And even when it is just to watch Jason's shirt barely hold its head together on live television. Having this experience serves as a reminder that her connection to the Kelsey family is genuine and that she is truly enjoying the game for reasons other than just Travis's touchdowns. Take into consideration this confirmation for those NFL fans who have been mistrustful Taylor Swift is now officially more than just a spectator on the sidelines she has become a full-fledged football fan, complete with a front-row seat to all of the chaos and comedy that the league has to offer. Taylor's recent antics with Travis sparked some pretty predictable reactions, primarily from those who find her joy to be a bit too much to handle. Moving on to another place where Travis did speak up for Taylor is when he did so. Swift is the subject of some pretty tired criticism after she was seen at the US Open singing I Believe in a Thing Called Love with Kelsey and mingling with his friends. This has led to Swift becoming the target of some criticism. However, it is not just about her public displays of affection or her fun-loving attitude rather, it is about how aggressive and unfair these criticisms can be, and Travis has opened up about it in his most recent podcast. Now, let's be clear there is a fair share of criticism that is valid, such as the re-releases of her old albums or her silence on current political issues however, criticizing her for having a good time is a completely different story altogether. Those comments that make her cringe or tell her that she is seeking attention are, in reality, a reflection of outmoded and aggressive attitudes. It is almost as if there is an unspoken rule that once you reach the age of 30, you are expected to shed your youthful exuberance in favor of a more mature demeanor. It should be brought to your attention that ageism frequently targets women more severely. The fact that Taylor Swift is getting closer to the middle of her 30s is the sole reason why her playful moments are looked down upon. However, the fact that she is enjoying life and being in the public eye should not come with the requirement that she always act serious. The fact of the matter is that having fun in your 30s or at any other age should not be something that other people police. The genuine cringe, which is the anger that Swift has received online for merely taking pleasure in her life, this is a classic example of people projecting their dissatisfaction onto another person who is simply happy and enjoying her life to the fullest. If there is anything that is embarrassing about this situation, it is the fact that everyone is so focused on Taylor Swift's public happiness rather than the actual impact that her actions have on the lives of other people. Therefore, the next time you see her dancing or singing in the stance, keep in mind that it is not a reason to get worked up. Perhaps it is a good reminder to allow ourselves to have a little bit more fun as well, 